Welcome to you all to this intriguing game. There's no great prize at stake, but both sides will want to perform, and especially in front of Alan Smith. <laughs> yes, I've told them I'm expecting big things, and uh, I mean, in a friendly, you can relax a little bit more, and that can give you some freedom to go out and produce your best stuff. We were here for a Champions League final in 2004. Porto, when it was the first really unveiling of Jose Mourinho in the Champions League stage. He won the UEFA Cup as it was the season before and he uh, took his bow and bowed out. It's a lovely ground, I must say, enjoy visiting it every time and they get really good support here in this working class area of Germany. Schalke's lineup today, Benjamin Stambouli plays with Matija Nastasic as the centre-backs. And it's good to see that they've got two strikers looking to provide the goal threat for them. In on the goalkeeper. Striding forward, purposefully. In with a chance. Well, he put it away brilliantly. That kind of chance has come to him so early in the game. But I have to say, he reacted perfectly. Really sharp right from the off. And they've taken the lead here. Goalkeeper was reaching for it and it did actually touch him on the way in. I think there was just too much power on the ball, on the shot, for him to get a strong enough touch. So the game restarts and Schalke are now in front. Gulsalam. Steven Kolka. Looking for an opening with some good control build-up. He slid in for the tackle. Here's Stombouli. Oh, chance! That's the right kind of football dive to turn the shot away. And it's a corner now. Put the corner in the middle. In with the header and a good position, but he's put it wide. Yeah, it's a good chance. Not sure if that came off his shoulder, you know. Didn't look a clean connection. Jalma. he say proper tackle that Matija Nastasic Ochipka that's his game isn't it intercepting good awareness but not one from the textbook that one the booking I think it's a yellow card and well, it was a certain yellow card, wasn't it? Yeah, I think so. Looking back on it, he had no choice at all. That's a good ball, isn't it? They're on the attack now. On the move and able to cut out the pass. Here's Stombouli. Matija Nastasic. Guido Bergstall. Pass threaded through. Just to keep it to beat. Well, they have cleared the danger. It was a decent opportunity, I think. Guido Bergstaller. Opening them up with a through pass. And there it is! They play an open brand of football, so we shouldn't be surprised with a defender chipping in with one of the goals but he looks a bit surprised yeah. I mean it's not like he's never scored a goal before but uh, he found himself in the position he didn't hesitate just widen the margin here to 2-0 Gulsalam well they're in a good position here Trehun Gulsalam. And shoots! Well, it wasn't the guilt edge chance, but it was really an opportunity for them to start finding their way back into the game. Yeah, and they mustn't let heads drop because they still have got a decent chance in this match. Got a space for him. Now out on the wing. It could be a chance! Superb save! He shouldn't have had a chance at all with that, but ooh, what about those reflexes? Brilliant. It's short the corner this time. Pulls it back now. Pressure on, another corner. 
in goes the corner it was a chance really of getting into a scoring position then but anything but it's really passive play at the moment by the defending team and that's a cross the field to try and switch the play just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception defended well and it's Cisse Guido Bergstaller well there was an opening he couldn't quite get the ball through it threading it through needs to stay cool now Brilliant goal! That's a great breakaway. The counter-attack, time to perfection, executed to perfection. Yeah, you see this more and more in the modern-day game. It's all about pace, and the score has certainly showed it there. An amazing first half in this game. Have a look at that scoreline. Gul Salam, not rushing it here, moving from one side to the other. Shot on! Intercepted the play, saw the pass coming. So we've reached the break, 3-0 for half-time score. Well, the player that we're featuring here has done well, he's certainly been an influence on this first half. That was a good first 45 minutes. Some of the runs he made were really impressive and the goal led to one of them, of course. Just needs to keep it up now, keep up that work rate. Well, we wait to see what the second half brings. The first half was conclusive, but you don't win the game at half-time. Chehun Gulsala. I think he saw the look from the other player and saw where the pass was going and read it. An incisive pass. Just to keep it to beat. He's in the clear. Well, that's a goal with class written all over it. He looks wonderful when it comes off. Not quite so when he doesn't. He will say he had to be there to score it, and that's true. But once he was there, he couldn't miss it. Well, a lot of those defenders wondering where their goalkeeper was but I think in this instance you can't blame him I have to say it's so one-sided today but all credit to the team that are racking up the goals neatly intercepted Ochipka prepared to just pass the ball around in their own half winning the game as the scoreline tells you can find some space here on the flanks but a space to go forward into with the ball excellent play to lose his marker come away with the ball cleanly great tackle closing him down And it's been an hour of very good football here. We've still got 30 more minutes to go, and I'm sure we're going to enjoy that as well. This is Cisse. Here's Stombouli. Looking to use the full width of the pitch in this attack. Unable to hold on to the ball, Schalke. Picked off that pass, and now he's got the ball and a chance to create something. Steered through. And there it is! Well, scoring in any game is worthy of celebration. When you get two, it is special. And he is feeling that special delight at the moment. I don't think we expected this. Such a one-sided affair, but look at the scoreline. 
Chehun Gulsala. Unsakala. Now they've got a chance in this part of the pitch. Looking for Papi Sise. Oh, it's the post! Goalkeepers love to be busy, and he's certainly busy at the moment. The frame of the goal helping him out. And now at least he can settle his team down and get the ball upfield. Well, if you hit the postal bar, you've not hit the target. Although they did in the second one, it was too easy for the keeper. And that shot decision is made, it's offside. Well, it's a hard one for the referee's assistant there, but I think he's just got that right. And this is now time for the change, or the changes, I should say. There are two players coming up. A chipka, a pass threaded through. That's an easy interception. The pass wasn't really a very thoughtful one. Salam. There's going to be a substitution. It's for the away team. Matija Nastasic. Eighty-five minutes played. Five to go. Uh, cut out by the defender. Able to cut that out with um, some sharp movement. This is looking very good for the German club Schalke with this big lead. Just read the intentions of the opposition there to make the interception. And that's the referee's decision. Two added minutes. Trying to get the ball in behind. Now the shot! It comes out off the goalkeeper. Corner for Schalke. We are going to see... A substitution now. Decided that this time they're going to... Final whistle is gone and Schalke are the victorious team. A really big win and sometimes you'll get a lot of praise for that. Sometimes they'll say, well, the opposition wasn't very good. But you can only beat who's in front of you and they've beaten them out of sight. Haven't they just? I mean, it was shooting practice for those players but it seemed that every time they did shoot, finished up in the back of the net.